Welcome to this morning yoga practice. I was given the inspiration from this class from a guy I met yesterday called Scott, who was really passionate about raising the consciousness of men and healing inner child wounds. It's important to know that everybody has an inner child with inside themselves. The famous psychologist Carl Jung was very aware that Although he was a professional psychologist who was extremely smart, he also was aware that he had a 10-year-old boy inside himself. Sometimes for me, when I'm riding my bike, I like to pretend that I'm on a motorbike and make the noises. My adult brain knows that this is a little silly, but the inner child inside of me loves this. When we become adults, we then become the adult that our inner child always needed and always wanted. We become the guardian and the protector of that inner child. So we need to listen to that inner child. A lot of times as kids, we get silenced, we get told to be quiet, to fit in line and to conform. And we don't get given the space and the time and the opportunity to really allow our inner child to flourish and to find its to find its way. This practice will be more of a yin style, so it'll be holding poses for a slightly longer amount of time than usual. And this will allow us to get into the fascia. The fascia is a protective layer, usually collagen, that's underneath the skin that protects and separates muscles and organs. Yin yoga is really good for relaxing the mind and relaxing the body. A lot of times tension in the mind can manifest as tension in the body. Yin yoga allows both to relax. The key to this is the breath. Slow inhales and slow exhales, using the exhale to relax the muscles and relax the body. So let's begin. We'll begin this class in a seated position either seated on the knees or a cross-legged position, whichever one's most comfortable for you. Place the hands anywhere that's comfortable. Gently close the eyes and bring awareness to the breath. So allow the breath to follow its natural rhythm. Breathing in through the nose Exhaling through the nose. Bring awareness to any sensations you feel within the body. Sit up nice and tall raising the crown of the head towards the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Relax the shoulders down the back. Slightly engage the lower abs. Sitting nice and tall. And begin to deepen the inhale. Deepen the exhale. Feeling the chest rise and expand on the inhale. Soften on the exhale. Find length in the neck and spine on the inhale, reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. Exhale, relax the shoulders down the back. Relax the glutes, relax the hands. Relax the forehead. Increase the inhale. Finding a count of between three and five. Match the exhale to the inhale, a count of three to five.
ribs expand on the inhale. Feel the lungs fill. Exhale, relax. Lower abs are slightly engaged. Crown of the head reaching towards the sky. Gently open the eyes. And come to a tabletop position. The hands directly under the shoulders, fingertips spread. Knees under the hips. Push away from the mat through the hands, spreading the fingertips. Reaching the tailbone back. Crown of the head forwards. Inhale, creating length in the spine. Exhale, relax. Gently close the eyes if you'd like. Slowly begin to curl the tailbone under. Push through the hands. Begin to round the spine towards the sky. Gently drop in the head. Lower in the chin to the chest. Exhaling, dropping the belly and the chest, opening up through the shoulders. Tailbone reaches to the sky, crown of the head reaches to the sky. Open the collarbones. Inhaling, rounding the spine. Exhaling, dropping the belly, opening the chest. Maintaining that three to five Inhale, three to five, exhale. Match the breath with the movement. Do two more. back to a neutral spine, curl the toes under, gently rock back, come to sit on the heels. Inhale, sit tall, exhale, relax the feet, relax the toes. This can be quite an intense stretch for the feet and the toes. A lot of times we're on our feet all day and we don't pay much attention to our feet. It's quite unnatural to keep our feet in shoes and keep them confined. So it's good to stretch out the feet, give some attention and give some love to our feet. Inhale, sit tall, shoulder blades back. Relax down the back. Exhale, relax the feet. Feel that stretch in the arches and the toes. If it's a little intense, you can lean forwards, come onto the hands. Otherwise, sitting tall. Ribs expand on the inhale. Soften on the exhale. Walk the hands forward. Untuck the toes. Come back to a tabletop. Gently sit back on the heels. Knees come mat width distance. 
heels together, arms forward and relax into a child's pose. You can keep the elbows bent to make it less intense on the shoulders. Bring the forehead down to the mat. You can also bring the forehead to a block or a book or a cushion. On the inhale, feel the ribs expand out to the sides and feel the back stretch open. Exhale, soften the muscles in the back. Relax the muscles in the face, the forehead, the jaw. Relax the shoulders and the arms. Relax the hips. Three to five count inhale through the nose. Three to five count exhale through the nose. Expanding the ribs on the inhale. Softening and relaxing on the exhale. Relax the hips. Relax the back. Gently begin to walk the left hand over to the right side of the mat, placing the right hand on top of the left. Keeping the left hip pressed down to the heel, feeling a nice stretch in the left side body. Inhale into that side body, feeling the ribs expand. Exhale, relax. Gently yeah, begin to walk the hands back to center. Walking the right hand over to the left side of the mat, placing the left hand on top of the right. Keeping the right hip pressed down to the right heel. Expand the ribs, feeling a nice stretch in the right side body. Exhale, relax. Keep the awareness on the three to five count inhale, three to five count exhale. Relax the forehead. Take one more breath in this pose. Inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, relax and soften. Walk the hands back to center. Gently walk the hands into the body, pressing up to sit back on the heels. Sit up nice and tall, bring the knees together, lower abs slightly engage, shoulders back, shoulder blades squeeze together, head comes back in space, 
drop the chin slightly to create length in the neck. Inhale, spine lengthens, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Exhale through the mouth, relax. Two more just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Place the right hand next to the body. You can prop up on the fingertips. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, reach the left hand over the head. Opening up the chest to the left side, making sure not to round the spine. Keep it nice and tall. Inhaling, reaching those fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, relax the muscles in the side body. Inhale, reach. Exhale, relax. Switch sides. Left fingertips down on the left side. Inhale, reach the right hand over. Chest opening up to the right side, making sure not to round the spine. Inhale, stretch the fingertips. Exhale, soften. Relax the hips down into the mat. Come back to center, hands on the knees. Deep inhale, ribs expand. Exhale through the mouth. Gently walk the hands forward to a tabletop position. Curl the toes under, lift the knees Gently press back into a downward facing dog. Begin to pedal the feet, straightening one leg and then straightening the other. Pressing through the hands, pressing the chest into the thighs. Reaching the hips towards the sky. Remembering to breathe. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Find stillness. Creating a little heat in the body. If you begin to shake, that's perfectly okay. Keep focused on the breath. Keep the breath calm. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Gently walk the feet up towards the hands. Keep the knees bent. Come into a forward fold. Three to five count inhale. Three to five count exhale. Take the left hand, reach over, place it on the right ankle, bring the right hand to the low back, begin to straighten the right leg while bending the left knee and gently begin to twist over to the right. It's a really good stretch for the outer hip, keep the breath calm. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Feel both feet pressing into the mat. Inhale. 
inhale, release it, both hands down to the mat. Take it to the other side. Bring the right hand to the left ankle, the left hand to the lower back. Gently begin to straighten the left leg while bending the right knee. Gently twisting to the left. Inhaling, lengthen the spine, reaching the crown of the head forwards. Exhale, relax the right hip down. Feeling all four corners of both feet pressing into the mat. Keep the breath calm. Three to five count. Inhale through the nose. Three to five count. Exhale through the nose. Gently release. Gently step both feet back into a plank pose. Gonna hold this plank for five seconds, engaging the lower abs, curling the tailbone underneath, pushing the ground away, building strength. That's three, two, one. Gently release the knees, sit back on the heels. Sit nice and tall, deep inhale, fill the whole of the lungs with oxygen. Exhale through the mouth, relax. Inhale, feel the bottom of the lungs fill with air, the middle and then the top of the lungs. Exhale, relax. Gently walk the hands out to a tabletop. Gently bring the right knee forwards, placing the right foot in between the hands. Coming into a low lunge. Bring the arms up onto the knee. You want to imagine the right heel drawing back in space while drawing the left knee forwards in space. Slightly engaging the lower abs, placing the hands on the knee, lifting the crown of the head towards the sky. Inhale, reaching the spine tall. With the lower body engaged, exhaling to gently lower into the stretch. Imagining the right heel drawing back and the left knee drawing forwards. Keep the breath calm. Bring your awareness to the breath. Inhale, ribs expand, exhale, soften. Place both hands down. Curl the left toes under, press the left foot, the left knee up off the mat. Place the hands and step that right foot back to a plank pose. Gently lower the knees and bring the left foot forwards, step it through between the hands, gripping the toes into the mat, untuck the right foot, top of the foot placed into the mat, and bring the hands up onto the knee, inhaling to create length in the spine reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. 
bringing the left heel back, drawing the right knee forwards, scissoring them together, slightly engaging the lower abs. Through this point of activation, gently lower, relax the hips into the stretch. Gently close the eyes or find a spot directly in front to focus the attention. Inhaling, expanding the ribs, reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. Exhale, soften, relax into the stretch. Place both hands either side of the left foot. Curl the right toes under. Gently press the right knee up off the mat. Plant the hands into the mat. Step that left foot back into a plank. Going to hold this plank for five, four, three, two, one. Gently lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the feet, tops of the feet, rest into the mat. Bring the right cheek towards the mat. Relax the hands down by the side. Belly Shavasana. Gently close the eyes. Completely relax the body. Relax the forehead. Relax the jaw. Bring awareness to the breath. Three to five count, inhale. Three to five count, exhale. Relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. Relax the hands, the fingers. Relax the back, the glutes. Relax the legs. Very gently lift the head slightly off the mat. Slowly turn the head to the other side, placing the left cheek down onto the mat. Completely relax, surrender. Allow the body to melt into the mat. Allow gravity to take over. Relax in the shoulders. Relax in the back, the glutes. Gently bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Gently press into the mat, lifting the head, looking down. Slowly begin to lift up, pushing back to a child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, sit heels together, hands reach forward. 
Inhale, feel the back expand. Exhale, relax. Notice any difference between this child's pose and the child's pose that we did at the beginning of the class. Inhale, the ribs expand. Breathe into the back. Exhale, relax. Gently begin to walk the hands up towards the body. Coming up, sit on the knees. Inhale, reach the crown of the head towards the sky. Shoulder blades squeeze back. Shoulders relax down the back. Lower abs slightly engaged. Sitting nice and tall. Inhale, ribs expand. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Two more just like that. Gently open the eyes if the eyes were closed. Thank you for practicing with me this morning. Thanks to Scott for giving me the inspiration. I'll make sure to leave his details in the comment section so that you can check him out. This one was for you, brother. You said 6 a.m. Yin class. Here you go. Thank you very much. See you next time.